AMD is officially launching their fastest GPU ever. Zen 4 is going to have up to two times the amount of cores and Windows 11 is right around the corner. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Brobot. Brobot is a free, super fast program that scours the internet searching for restocks of the latest GPUs, CPUs, and consoles to help you find what you're looking for before it goes out of stock. Thanks to Brobot, I was finally able to purchase a PS5 due to its extremely fast speed and in my case, I noticed it was actually minutes faster than all other popular bots I've tried. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you secure that new GPU, CPU, or console, be sure to click the Discord and Telegram links in the description below to find out more. Alright, so this first story comes from the website VideoCards.com where apparently AMD is going to be releasing an even faster version of the 6900 XT. Now, if you've been paying attention, you'll probably know that AMD has already released a faster version of the 6900 XT with a bin GPU that clocks just a little bit higher. However, this GPU should, in theory, at least be even even a little bit faster than that. Now it's a liquid cooled version with a 120 millimeter radiator, which by the way, they really should have gone for 240 millimeter. But anyway, that's besides the point uh, this GPU. What makes it a little bit different is that not only is it going to have a slightly higher boost clock or game clock as if we compare them, it's going to have 2,250 megahertz on the game clock versus 2,015 megahertz on the original 6900 XT for its game clock. But on top of that, it also has a slightly higher power limit with 330 watts versus 300 watts on the original 6900 XT, and it even has a faster memory clock. So this time around, we're looking at 18 gigabits per second versus 16 gigabits per second. Now in the past, I have talked about this GPU. However, it looks like as though it's actually official now. We actually have a bunch of slides and images of this GPU. Uh, now, are you actually gonna be able to purchase it for yourself? It looks like that's likely not going to be the case. And it looks like it's only gonna be for like system integrators and uh, people who are building uh, full pre-built systems so far. Now in the future, this may actually be sold to us and hopefully it is as I do believe that with the 18 gigabits per second memory as well as the higher clock speeds, we're gonna be looking at a GPU here which should have AMD finally actually beating NVIDIA on average if you look at both 1080p, 1440p and maybe even 4K because with the extra uh, memory bandwidth that we're getting here, that extra 12.5% that we're going to be getting out of this liquid cool version of the 6900 XT, I do believe that it's going to start to overtake the RTX 3090 in some of those 4K titles as well. So on average, if you take a look at all the various different resolutions, I think we'll be taking a look here at a GPU where AMD's, yeah, they're going to be dethroning the RTX 3090 and AMD has not dethroned NVIDIA on average in gaming in a very, very long time. So that's actually very exciting to see as more competition from AMD is also going to force NVIDIA to be more creative as well. Now, of course, NVIDIA does have some features that AMD doesn't quite have yet, but AMD should be releasing their FSR as well as some other features in the near future here. Uh, so yeah, this is looking to be a very fast GPU from AMD and it looks like AMD is starting to get very, very competitive. But now let's go ahead and talk about those Zen 4 processors because yeah, it looks like these Zen 4 CPUs, at least according to the Twitter leaker, Vegeta could have up to 128 cores, which is actually double the amount that you see on the highest end Epic processors so far. Now, according to Vegeta, this is what he had to say about it. Quote, wow, Zen 4 is really more than 96 cores. I was skeptical when I first saw news in chip hell. Now I can also confirm that Zen 4 is up to 128 cores. So yeah, it's really exciting to see the AMD's next generation architecture is going to boast up to two times the amount of cores. Now, does this mean that the Ryzen 9 6950X or 7950X is going to have 32 cores instead of 16 cores? And while that is technically possible, uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think there's realistically any good reason for AMD to bring you more than 16 cores at this point. Uh, so yeah, as exciting as this is, I wouldn't expect to see more than 16 large x86 cores out of AMD for quite a long time. It just really isn't necessary and it's going to cause a lot of extra extra heat as well as power draw. But of course, we are going to be seeing a big IPC jump. And then on top of that, apparently the Zen 4 processors are likely going to have new instructions such as, such as AVX 512 as well. So there are going to be some other improvements that we're going to be seeing out of this CPU. So uh, whether or not you do end up getting a doubling in the amount of cores on the consumer side, you are going to be seeing a very large performance increase. And finally, let's go ahead and talk about Windows 11 because this one, guys, it really just came out of left field for me. Now, I've known for a long time that we were going to be getting, I think it was called a Sun Valley update. It was going to be a big update for Windows 10. I've known this for a long time and it was going to have a whole bunch of cool new features. I think they're going to be kind of overhauling the UI, but it sounds 
like. Uh, that was going to be such a big update that they're actually turning it into a new operating system, or at least that's what the current uh, leaks and rumors are pointing towards. I will have a link in the description below to various articles so that you can go ahead and read more about Windows 11. There's a bunch of screenshots out already. It looks like this is actually going to be official, and this is really bizarre to me because, yeah, it has been a while that we've had Windows 10, but it seems like it really hasn't been that long. I don't really know anyone who's been clamoring for a new Windows operating system, and then on top of that, at least in my opinion, the UI of this new OS is definitely going to be something I'm going to have to get used to. I don't really like it so far. Uh, maybe it'll start to actually uh, wear down on me and I will end up liking it, but right now, I really don't like the look of some of the stuff like the taskbar in the bottom where it's all centered. I really don't like that, and I'm also not looking forward to potentially having to spend upwards of $120 on a new Windows license. That's going to be absolutely ridiculous if they end up making us do that. Hopefully, it's going to be a free update. We'll have to wait and see what happens there, and also, hopefully, Hopefully there's not going to be a bunch of bugs as I know when Windows 10 first came out there were a lot of issues especially with like multi GPU setups so hopefully they have all that ironed out but yeah looks like we're probably getting a new Windows 11 coming out here pretty soon. It looks like they're going to be unveiling it on June 24th. So uh, for those of you who are excited for a new OS, hey, here you go. For those of you who want to stick with Windows 10, well, you don't have to upgrade, but it looks like a new upgrade is coming out and you may actually want to upgrade because it's probably going to have some new stuff like auto HDR and a bunch of various different features and probably some new graphics techniques. So for the people who are on the bleeding edge and have the fastest, newest GPUs, yeah, you'll probably end up wanting to upgrade. But hey, that's just what I think. Are you excited? for Windows 11? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.